black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, hey, y'all, back with this installment of trying a crazy ass flavor of wings. You guys know I love wings around here, and uh, I've never tried this. I've thought about it for a long time. I've been low key meaning to make these. Um, I just think, honestly, so many different flavors of things actually just work on chicken wings. I don't know why that is, but they do. So um, I'm very excited to get into it. Uh, while I was cooking them, I was craving them hard. I'm sure you were too as I was cooking. I'm gonna get this stuff out of the way and we're gonna pour up and then we're gonna smash, okay? So give me two seconds. <laughs> All right, clean and clear and under control. Now, you guys know, before we do anything more, we must stay with me. Pa, pa, pa. Ba, 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 boy. <laughs> Got the iceberg on deck. Front and center. Attention. <laughs> Dr. P. I just figured the Dr. P and the peanut butter and jam wings just gotta go together, you know what I mean? While we pour up, we of course look to our left and we make mention to all of those of you who have been copping your water bottles through the coldest water through my link, code hoodie. Uh, you use that, you save 10% on your entire order. Get yourself a 21 ouncer, maybe a 64 ouncer if you are a water behemoth. You know, sometimes you just go on a nice hike up a mountain and you need to crush 64 OZs of water. Now, you probably should do that per day, you know what I mean? Also, they have a giveaway, so you just enter your name, you could win some free coldest water bottles, okay? So all the links are down below, you do that. And uh, I'm a happy camper because your your engagement with them helps me out. I get kickbacks and my life is a little bit better every time. So thank you so much. If you've done that, I really, really appreciate that. Dr. P, fizzing like a champion. I do have a napkin off to the side for the boneyard. I am going to keep this video semi soft spoken because I must be mindful of my surroundings. But we must have a <laughs> first sip aristocratically. It's just a delight every time. All right, let's get to the business, the main event, what we came for. What I've been actually meaning to try for honestly months, I've been thinking about these. And uh, I don't know why it's taking me so long to just do it. But I've done it and we're here. With extra crispy wings, apparently. Extra crispy. Which is completely okay with me. I love my wings. Crunchy as shit. real true story okay I actually want to try a drum for, and then we will tell you what is happening here in terms of flavor First things first, is it worse? No harm, no foul. I figured it would because obviously there's wings like honey garlic, mango, things like that. And then on the flip side, there's like 
Thai peanut sauce that they have with chicken and noodles and stuff. So it just makes sense that that nutty, fatty, rich bitch flavor would translate on the wing. And of course, the sweet element pretty much always goes with chicken. Honestly, because I cook these to that really crispy extreme, that crispiness just reminds me of toast. My peanut butter and jam toast. Real talk. You guys all come together. Such a simple recipe too. Literally five ingredients. The wings, oil, salt, jam and peanut butter. I melted out the uh, sauces separately purely for aesthetic so that the thumbnail would pop and shit just so they would look cool But I assume, or what I would do, if I was just making them for myself at home and didn't have to make them dope for YouTube, I just combine the two in the pan. Stir together. Mix them in a bowl. Mix them in a bowl. I'm gonna be done with it. Throw on your favorite YouTuber. Kick back. Have yourself some wings. PB and J, of course. I should also mention that I haven't even eaten in like 25 hours. I'm fully back on my one meal a day. I'm not necessarily going to try to keep it low carb but 
I am gonna make, I'm gonna cook more things now for the channel. I'm just gonna make an amount that keeps it to like X amount of calories. Still smash food, still really enjoy the food. But kind of let the, uh, the cooking be, you know, half the fun. Still eat for you guys, but just not in excess. Now, don't get me wrong. <clears throat> Once a week, I may just fast it out and then go hammer on some fast food or something like that. That's still on the table. You understand. I just can't let quarantine get the best of me. You know? The thing is, is that I was kind of holed up all winter in, in like a crazy winter Canadian city. And I just committed to YouTube full, full body. Ate a lot of bad shit. But somewhere along the way. I, I don't know. I don't want to say like got into like a depression, but. I kind of got into like a, I don't give a fuck attitude. And I started eating kind of just whatever, whenever, like for the channel. But then even if I ate for the channel, like eight, you know, five, six hours later, I'd make something else, order something else where I used to just. Be strict on the one meal. Said to myself, because I've done it before a bunch of my life. When summer rolls around, like spring. April, May, let's get back on my shit, fast, and go one meal and all that, and lose the weight, just a little bit of extra weight, for the summer months, But then this all happened. Quarantine. And 
and uh, quite honestly there's like this conundrum of like people aren't don't want to say it but I've already admitted to myself summer is basically canceled I mean not summer in general like you can still enjoy summer sort of from your own house or you, you, you know you can do some things but traditional summer for me at least includes adventures partying having fun times with the uh, members of the opposite sex travel bars concerts outings events beach And I just don't see that occurring in the traditional sense this this year. So you're like, do I just eat and not care? <laughs> Say fuck it, I'll see you in, in 2021. And just eat till your heart's content. Tis the predicament. But. I advise against that. It's not smart to just let it all go. Even in times like these when you're like, screw it, the world's going to hell in a handbasket. Real quick. What a sludgy fingered video. Did we think it was going to be anything else? PB, PB and J. Is a nasty offender. Never have a piece of PB and J toast. Slip off your plate. Face down on your couch. It's not fun. Anybody with kids definitely has. I've definitely experienced it. Just myself. Oh my god. What are these fingers about? What a what a war torn adventure. I would have given these maybe five minutes less. I still like them crispy as shit, but just a little more moisture might have been nice. So good though. What is this life that I live? I don't know. It's not bad though. <laughs>
It tastes good. Real, real nice. I can only assume my face is disastrous, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's okay. Ah. A nice little palate cleanse. And uh, that's going to do it for this episode. So until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true. Black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah.